This is a painting, a sculpture painting or a painting sculpture, borrowing from um, ideas by the international artist Cristo, who draped buildings, did the orange gates in Central Park. The idea is to change the environment, change the way people see the environment. So we're borrowing an idea that we found in Scholastic Art Magazine. We saw a video of this process and we're using all recycled materials. We're using found cardboard. <laughs> we're using toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls. We're using um, latex paint that uh, we have garnered from people who had it stuck in their garage or had paint samples for the walls in their houses. We used four different paints, um, all of them around the same viscosity, so they flowed the same off the cardboard. We inadvertently uh, turned this not only into an art project, but into a math and science project. Go figure. So um, we're, thanks to Mrs. Norton, she helped us determine the physics the, of the project, which is testing the viscosity of the paint, the viscosity or flow rate of the paint, making sure that the flow rate is all the same, which one works best, so that all the paint samples are uniform and we'll get that beautiful curvy linear effect with all the applications. And then math, we had to figure out the surface area of all our structures. We put together all these structures. We had to figure out the surface area. So my favorite math teacher, Mrs. Bear, stepped into the room momentarily and gave us geometry equations for figuring out the surface area. It's exciting because um, I feel like everyone's watching me do it and everyone sees the finished product and I know that it's mine. I love it. It just keeps, like, even though it's still flowing right now, it's still getting even more beautiful.